Coming to you again from uh, the Tampa Super Show here in Tampa, uh, Florida, uh, 2016. We're going to take you around the exterior, show you some of the features and benefits of the exterior on this coach. As you can see, the paint, one of the neat things about the Stealth Package, uh, they've actually put a carbon fiber look along with this beautiful gold metallic and black paint job on the coach. Uh, this is uh, probably the, one of the best looking paint jobs that we've put out this year. This comes in three different packages, a lime green, uh, a sublime, and then also a red or a crimson type. Um, Mitch at Overcome Motorsports chose this. It appeals to Harley Davidson race car drivers, more of, of that type of uh, uh, clientele. But if you'll notice the, the storage underneath, we've got a ton of storage underneath, not only for uh, our batteries, that actually is uh, our house batteries, which are AGM house batteries with our truck bank there. Um, large storage area here. This is where our air compressor and some of our air uh, accessories are. The next bay is what we call our hands-free or our sewage. It's a, one of the cleaner, nicer, and more ergonomic hand-free uh, areas. All of your controls are here, an exterior shower, your, your docking stations, and your uh, city water fill uh, is actually connected here. Along with our, our hands-free and our plumbing area here, uh, we do have a, a way to fill the tank faster, and Mitch will talk to you about that. But that's a 135-gallon uh, freshwater tank, 75-gallon uh, gray, 65-gallon black. So the first exterior package we want to talk about at the back is, like Mike said, this is our fast fill system. So you actually run your slide out. This so so you don't have to spend two, two and a half hours filling your water up. So this is a great thing, so it doesn't back drain into your water system down there. Another thing, like Mike said, I picked this package out. This is what we call our stealth package. It has three different exteriors. As you can see, it actually has a blend of carbon fiber in it. It's a real popular in the racing scene, um, motorcycle scene, stuff like that. Anything action, carbon fiber seems to be the way that everybody's going away from chrome. So as you can see down here, we actually don't do chrome wheels. We did a matching paint black wheel to match the actual exterior color. It's been a hit so far. Feature with our Michelin 22 and a half radial tires, the best in the business for tire tread. On this luxury status, we use the best components available. I would say Michelin's one. Now, while we're talking about components on the exterior status, let's jump back here and let me tell you what powers this thing when you're not plugged into shore power. Here at the Tampa RV Show, we have a 50 amp cord that's on a power reel. This is on an actual reel slide, so that way all you have to do is slide it up. It makes it really convenient so you don't have to jumble a cord up. That's a 50 amp power surge, so like how we're plugged in here at the show, you don't actually have to run generator. Well, when we talk about luxury components of the Status Motor Coach, I think generators. Hallmark, Status, Overkill, we support Onan. I, we, we think Onan is the best generator in the market. The Status is a quad slide, four exterior slides that come standard with a 10,000 diesel generator. Now, as you can see on this 45 Status, we have upgraded from the 10,000 diesel to the 12,500. Now that's powering three air conditioners, three 15K unit air conditioners inside, and everything else is all powered by this big bad boy right here. So that's one of the key features of the Status Motor Coach is this 12.5 diesel quiet Onan generator. Here at the rear of the coach, um, the Status comes standard with two hitches. Uh, this is the, the standard 15,000 pound draw tight two inch receiver that you can put anything in. It also comes with an adjustable uh, two and five sixteenths inch uh, 40,000 pound uh, coupler that you can actually pull stackers uh, up to 40,000 pounds. So very strong. We're utilizing that uh, power plant, 600 horse power plant in the front to pull 40,000 pounds in the back. One of the uh, one of the things that we also uh, incorporated, we know you're going to put a stacker or a large trailer or something like that back here. We do have a jumper so you can run your generator in your coach to also run the generator in your stacker or your trailer. We've got two faucets or spigots back here. One is a low water drain for easy, fast winterizing. Um, one is just a standard spigot that you can use for washing motorcycles, race cars, just an exterior uh, spigot you can use to wash your dog if need be. This is your propane easy fill. There's a uh, quick connect, uh, there's a quick fill, and an emergency cutoff switch at the rear of the trailer so it's easy to fill, easy to access, easy to get to. If you look up at the top of the 
coach, you got a very hidden, subtle uh, status symbol there. Um, part of the paint job, part of the paint bag. I think the, the guys at Precision did a fantastic job. So we're back on the what we would call this curbside of our status motor coach. And another quality component that we use here for the status is our Dometic Corporation. Not only does this status feature three Dometic air conditioners, but an option for this DB that we went ahead and put on this particular unit is our outside freezer package. This is what Dometic calls a CF80. Keeps drinks cold to 33 degrees. It's great for not having to go inside and outside of the coach all the time when you're out camping. Want a cold drink? Walk back here and uh, grab a soda. It's on a it's on a it's on a slide system, so it easily just comes in and out, which makes this a great feature. And uh, we're gonna keep going, and uh, we're gonna let Mike talk about the latch system and some of the storage compartments that the status features. As you can see, we've utilized one of the storage compartments in this uh, in this coach for a refrigerator freezer. Um, the storage compartments, we use stainless steel uh, latches. This has been powder coated in a matte black, but all of our storage compartments are enclosed with a solid door and the interior compartment is completely lined with padded carpet and the actual storage compartment itself is a uh, one piece fully welded steel compartment we have no leaks in our storage compartment system so one of these co cool features on the outside like we were talking about earlier is definitely the outside entertainment package once again one of your favorites of this coach is the lg absolutely besides the lg tv we actually use a kenwood system this is a seven inch monitor you can actually play dvds through this that plays on the tv kenwood outside speakers you actually have a microphone if you want to plug your phone in for bluetooth outside usb cord and there's also an exterior plug right here so if you want to be charging your cell phone on the exterior plug in a little cell phone charger so this is a great feature that's actually built into the slide that makes this status one of the nicest coaches on the market all right folks so now you've seen all the great features of the status motor coach but the one feature that we have yet to touch on today is the actual chassis that sits on this sits on one of the nicest chassis out there our chassis of choice a Volvo this particular status comes with a 500 horse Volvo which is upgradable to a 600 horse so we have our great friend Jeff Tackett from Volvo chassis here and he's going to tell you more about our Volvo chassis on the status motor coach hi everybody my name is Jeff Tackett with Volvo trucks and we're here in sunny Florida at the Tampa RV Super Show and uh, what a wonderful place to come down and see all the new um, uh, vehicles that are out this year um, we are here with Hallmark Motor Coaches in the new status uh, for Chris and G travels dot com and uh, appreciate all the help and support that they give us but I, don't, I know you just talked with Mike and Mitch about the interiors Let's uh, talk about a little bit of what makes this vehicle move, okay? We are in a brand new 2016 Volvo chassis with a 600 horsepower and 2,050 foot-pounds of torque with a 12-speed I-shift transmission. Highest torque combination, horsepower combination that's here in the park today. And um, when you talk about Volvo, Volvo is the premier choice of chassis builders when you talk Hallmark and status. Um, we are so proud of the, of the partnership between us and Hallmark this year and look forward to many more years of uh, building beautiful vehicles together. But let's talk about the, the, the truck for a little bit. Um, if you look at the industry today, comparing a Class A to a Super C, a lot of people will come in and say, you know, what's the difference between a Class A or a Super C? First off, safety. Second off, fuel economy. You've got uh, drivability, stability, resale value, towing capacity just overall vehicle is a is a much more established safer vehicle to, to operate um, the Volvo itself Volvo trucks was established on safety number one durability and control and longevity you're talking a million mile chassis when you're looking at one of these super C's um, when you talk of, when you're talking about the safety features you have the high strength steel cab you have the breakaway front engine on front impact you have that standardized airbag that Volvo first introduced to the market Volvo also first introduced the three-point seat belts um, they also have a vest which is a vehicle electronic stability traction which is an anti-rollover um, uh, braking for the vehicle also um, 
but all of that combines for just a great ride and control of a of a, of a nice uh, RV or coach for your family. Um, when you talk about some of the differences also between a uh, Super C and a Class A, one of the biggest differences is the engine location. Obviously, our engine location is is in the front of the vehicle. Some differences that you'll have between a front engine design and a rear engine design, the excessive heat that you get from a, a rear engine design and the noise in the rear, part, rear compartment of the vehicle, obviously you don't have that on the Super C. Everything is out in front. Um, when it comes to the heating of the uh, overheating of the engine, since 2004 when they started adding all the federal emissions to the engines, everything has been added to it has been heat. We've always had to deal with heat problems since 2004. Since, since we have the front engine design, all of the direct airflow comes back where we don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about engine fires. You don't have to worry about heat in the rear compartment. Like again, the noise in the rear compartment of the vehicle. But you have a, a stable vehicle. You have a 16.5 front suspension, 40,000 pound rears, uh, overall 56.5 GVW with a vehicle weight of about 42,000 pounds. So you still have a usable capacity of about 14,000, 15,000 pounds still left in the vehicle. If you look at a lot of the Class A's throughout the park, you're going to be maxim, maximized out at about 1,500, 2,000, 2,500 pounds. So by the time you get your stuff and anybody that's traveling with you on that vehicle, um, more than not, you're going to be overweight on that vehicle. With us, you don't have to worry about weight. Um, we, we use all solid materials. When you're talking to construction in the back, um, I'm sure they've talked about the solid wood, the solid granite, solid marble. Uh, nothing cord, nothing laminate. Um, everything is a solid house construction kind of a vehicle. Um, when you're talking drivability of the vehicle, think of it as a oversized SUV. Um, you're very um, familiar with everything around the road. Uh, visibility is is great. You don't have to worry about that with the mirrors, the windshield. Um, you don't have to to worry about things around you because you have control of the vehicle. Let's talk a little bit about the dash layout that you might uh, uh, want to be more familiar with. When you're talking the, the steering wheel compartment, you have a uh, tilting, telescoping, uh, free motion uh, steering wheel with all of your smart wheel controls. You have your radio controls and your Bluetooth phone controls, your city horns, you have your courtesy lights and your air horn in the center with an airbag that comes out of the middle. In your driver display area, you have all the gauges right in the front so that everything is visible without looking, taking your eyes off the road to look over to the other side of the vehicle. Everything is within dropping your eyes straight down to look at the driver display. About 140 different displays that you can have on the driver display itself, the electronic display. Um, when you look at the other dashes, switches, you can notice they're more smooth. They're not the rough um, switches that's intentional so that if there is some kind of impact and you have to, um, your knees or your hands or anything will hit the dash. Nothing sharp to cut into your knees, cut into your hands, that kind of thing. Uh, the steering wheel is break away, it breaks away on front impact uh, to get out of the, to get out of the way. You have your knee panels here for any kind of impact zone as well. Um, everything is driver friendly, automotive friendly. So your, your wraparound dash is within easy reach to the backup monitors, to your uh, radio controls, um, anything that you need to get to get in touch with while you're operating the vehicle. Um, 2016 we came out with the dash mounted shifters um, everything is right here so you have your reverse neutral drive manual switch uh, economy and performance and then you have your manual plus or minus it always gives you the display of what gear you're driving in um, it's a 12 speed I shift but generally you're going to skip shift between two to three gears when you're going down the road. So when compared to like a six-speed Allison, you're going to about have, have about the same kind of shift num number of shifts in an I shift that you will in an Allison six-speed. Uh, but you have a greater flexibility with the ratios of a heavy-duty I shift in comparison to an Allison. Um, you have your engine brake combination with a transmission that is um, uh, 
very user friendly. You have a three stage engine brake um, that is usable. Then you also have a boost brake to help slow down. The other thing that we uh, have standard in all of the coaches um, for the for Hallmark is the hill start assist. So when you come to a stop on a hill and you're on an incline, you can let your foot off the brake and it does not roll back for, on you. It has that hill hill start assist that's uh, included in the features. That's with this switch here. If you look to the left of that, these are your axle locks on the back rear uh, rear axles of the vehicle. Here's your traction control that you can turn off. If you happen to be in a um, wet or muddy um, kind of situation trying to get out, you can actually turn the traction control off so you do have a little bit of, of tire spin. Um, then you have your dump valves for your rear suspension. Here's your AC controls. Your, obviously your radio controls here. Here's your, your truck brake, your trailer brake, auxiliary um, in, ports for your radio. So you have a, a USB and eighth inch jack there. When you're looking at the stock switches, this is going to be for your windshield wiper controls. Um, up is your intermittent wipers. Down is you have one and two stage on your wipers there. This here is your engine brake control. So you have full control right at your uh, drop of the, the hand on the right side of the steering wheel to, to operate your engine brake, which can come in real handy in emergencies or just being able to con uh, control that engine brake. On the left side, you have your obvious steering uh, turn signals and cruise controls, headlight um, and fog lights on the side as well. Um, your window controls, you have a heated wind uh, heated uh, mirrors, full control left and right, door locks automatic, windows automatic, and you have to, also comes with a key fob. That's a door lock. On the windshields, they come with the heated windshields in the vehicles, and it's a one-piece windshield in a roll cage design, so you don't have to worry about structure stress on the windshield. When you look at other Class A's or even trucks in the industry, uh, most of them will calculate the strength of the windshield in the overall strength of the cab. Volvo does not do that. We do not have any stress points on the windshield. So if you think of having like a rock chip in your windshield and afraid of that spidering off because of the stress in the windshield, that will not happen on a Volvo vehicle. Um, uh, just some sim simple things like that. Um, very, very happy with the response that we've gotten from the industry for the past 10 years working in RVs and would love to talk to you anytime about um, how Volvo can can be your, your choice in, in your new RVs. But uh, go check out Hallmark and Status and uh, be sure to check out Chris and G on the uh, YouTube channels as well. But I appreciate you giving me a little bit of time to tell you a little bit about my truck.